So Volkswagen had a famous commercial. Uh, it's called Sunday Afternoon, but some people know it as Smelly Chair or Da 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 Da. And they ran that on the Yellen episode. And as good advertising, what it did is it allowed the consumer to complete the circle. So these two guys are in a Volkswagen Golf. Were they a couple? Was it a rabbit? I, I believe it was a Golf. Didn't they rebadge? What? It might have been rebadged, yeah. right. Um, were they a couple? Were they friends? Yes. Um, you remember the song, Da 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 Da. They're going around, driving around kind of aimlessly. They find this chair. And when John and I had done focus groups for a number of years uh, with the auto category, that ad had come up um, because it was on Ellen, but also because people, some people saw that cup, saw those two guys as a couple. Yeah. John and I have asked 10 different ways to all the different marketing people at Volkswagen about that. They never really. They leave it as ambiguous it. as the commercial, which is so funny. They're so on on, uh, was it the on Mullen? message. Was Mullen, the the shop at the time, the Mullen Group. It was Arnold. It was Arnold. Okay, right. and, but they and were Arnold so was also tight lipped about you so know. on message that no, we just you know it was a good buy. We were able to go on Ellen. It was a good buy, and I remember saying to the folks at Subaru at the time, we should go on there. Of course, we were just running Outback stuff with Paul Hogan, which would have been a disconnect. But uh, so for those of you, so we, we, uh, we thought it'd be great to revisit that spot. So we've got the uh, Da 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 commercial here. So take a look at it and uh, see how far we've come in 20 years. Da Da Da. Maybe you and I lost. rubbing the dash. I only picked it up now that he was rubbing his eyes because it must stink so yeah. much, right? German engineered Volkswagen Golf. It fits your life, or your complete lack thereof. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. <laughs> I, love, I love the tagline, there are passengers, um, there are drivers, drivers wanted. So that, and, and everyone knows that Volkswagen's been a partner of us here on the Focus Group for seven years. And so um, not a shameful plug, but actually a business story that they made a decision to go on Ellen. They got a lot of play for it and a lot of um, good cred from the LGBT community. This is one of the first times I've watched it all the way through. I've right. often seen stills of the ad. Well, that's a long, that's a, that's a 60, 60 that but a usually 60. they do a 30. The Ellen right? version was a 30, I think. Um, watching it now. Seems old, doesn't it? And, and how, how do you place the two of them? Are they, are they, to me, I read that now totally that they're just buddies, that they're just like driving around, they're aimless. Oh, let's take a chair back to the place. We could use that in the apartment. But when it- So like you and Greg. Contextual advertising though, context counts. If you ran that during Ellen's coming out episode, it, I think it did shift it right. towards you seeing them as possibly a couple or something. Brilliant marketing.